welcome to class folks so come to lie down come to rest on your back and you know just give yourself a moment to let the kind of horizontal position of your back where your head back of your shoulders back of the arms maybe the soles of the feet if your knees are bent so you can have your legs stretched out whatever you like just let your body kind of settle into that flat surface, the bones resting in the muscles. And at the moment, I'm practicing, as always, with an awareness of breath. But in this flow today, we're going to come into some stretches to really work the area around your shoulders and around your rib cage so that your breathing is assisted naturally so even when you're asleep hopefully your breath is good quality and kind of getting a nice rich amount of oxygen in your system so just start by having your feet on the ground and then stretch your arms up overhead and if a yawn comes in you might Feel your tailbone press down, your back hollow out, stretch the ribs, and then relax as you breathe out, let everything soften down. And then just bring your feet together at the midline, just lightly cross your right leg over your left, and then wrap your right arm under your left. And you can just lift up slightly, draw the shoulder blades apart, and maybe give yourself a little squeeze here. And if you like, you can just kind of gently Hold the shoulders and then let the weight of your arm bones relax down. And here there might be ever so slightly kind of choky feeling in the throat. So let the breath move down so the belly moves. And then perhaps either stay here or lift the feet off the ground and just squeeze everything in. You might even lift your head and shoulders up, squeeze into the midline. And then relax back down, take the arms and the legs out, make a big starfish stretch along the ground, and breathe out with a sigh. And then hug the knees in again, and bring the feet to the ground, and then bring the left leg over the right. So left arm under, and if you did the other side, do the other side, just make sure you do both sides. And you can, again, just give yourself a little squeeze here. I keep forgetting which side I've done. And then let the bones relax. So that little compression on the throat. You're just pressing down onto your thymus and thyroid glands here so that when we release, we stimulate maybe a little bit more blood flow there. So you can squeeze in if you like, you can lift the feet off the ground, squeeze everything in. And then unravel, expand along the ground, big breath in. And then exhale, <sighs> relax everything. And then hugging the knees in again. So this time hook the ankles and either roll to the side or roll forwards and backwards a couple of times. So I'm gonna roll up and over onto the hands and the knees. So we're just gonna stretch the sides of the body here. Start by perhaps having your toes tucked and your arms forward a little bit, and then just draw the hips back. So feel the texture of the ground, the mat or whatever your hands are on underneath the fingertips and the palms. Draw the hips back towards the heels and then maybe just rest your head on the ground. And you can roll from side to side if you like here. And then we're going to stretch through the sides of the body. So come up again, maybe take the hips gently from side to side, just letting your elbows bend, feeling that relationship with the shoulders and the hips. And then as you're ready, take the hands just a little bit forward of the shoulders and then come down onto your left elbow. Take your right arm forward and then move that left elbow along so you're in like a twisting position. And if you're really flexible, you might come down on that shoulder, 
but you might just stay on the elbow, reach the right arm forward and then start to engage Mula Bandha, so your pelvic floor as you exhale draws you back. And you can stay here, head on the ground, or you can kind of intensify that twist a little bit, bringing that elbow down. And this can be active, or you could just stop here and breathe for a few moments. And then walking the hands back in, and the hands underneath the shoulders, maybe round the spine, or take a little side to side movement here. And we'll do the other side. So bring the left hand forward, right elbow down. And maybe the elbow comes just to the midline or it might move over a little bit. So again, just go within your natural range of motion, of movement. And then when you come down, you might reach the left fingertips forward and then engage through the lower belly to draw the hips back a little bit. And depending on what kind of day you've been having, so far, you might be quite open in the shoulders, twist might be quite easy, and you might take it a bit more gently. And then coming slowly back to the centre. So now bring the hands under the shoulders, lift the tailbone, lift the heart, and then exhale gently round the spine. And do this a couple more times, just to feel space in the front of the body, and then in the back of the body, Again, you can circle the hips round towards the heels if you like, making any movement here that feels like an unwinding of your day. And we're going to come from here back into downward dog, so lifting the hips up and bending one knee and then the other. And then if you're in downward dog for the first time in a while, you might want to kind of reorganise yourself, take the hands a bit wider. And we're just going to take some slow, deep breaths here. So take a slow, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let everything go. Inhale again. And exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then slowly start to walk the feet forward towards the hands. And when you get there, just take quite a deep bend in the knees. Let your feet be apart, let your arms hang down, or maybe hold your elbows. And as you're ready, slowly, slowly start to roll up. So engage through that lower belly so your tailbone starts to tilt down towards your heels. Bring your head up last and if you feel dizzy, stay still. And if you feel okay, keep lifting. Lift your arms all the way up, big breath in. And exhale, take the hands down. So we're going to make that movement again towards the top of the mat. We're going to take the arms out to the side as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, just wrap one arm under the other. Maybe soften the knees. You can give your shoulders a bit of a squeeze. And inhale, take the arms out again. And then exhale, wrap the other arm over. Give yourself a bit of a squeeze. Once more, lift up and out. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Sit low. And then as you inhale, lift your arms up, lift your heels if you like, and then circle the hands back behind you. So once you've brought your hands either onto your hips or your lower back, drop the heels. Roll the tailbone down, ripple up through the spine, breathe in. So as you breathe out, just draw the shoulder blades together, lift the chest. Maybe take your eyes back, gentle back to breath. Inhale up to centre, bend your knees and fold down. So relax, tummy on the thighs, let the whole upper body hang down. Ripple forward for a halfway lift. And then exhale, hands come down. So we're going to bring the left foot back. And we'll just hold it up for a moment, get the right foot under the knee, left leg nice and strong. Maybe rock forward and backwards a couple of times. And then bring your back knee down. As you inhale, come up, take the arms out to the side, and we'll do the same movement. So arms can wrap one arm over the other, giving yourself a hug. It can be gentle or a real squeeze if you need it. Inhale, take the arms out again. Maybe the hips come forward this time. And then exhale, hips draw back, arms wrap round. So do that once more with your breath. Inhale, open. And exhale. So now take the 
the arms up into the air and then down to the inside of that right foot and you can stay here so if you're quite tired today you can stay down or you can lift the back knee bring the left hand out a little bit and bring the right hand to the heart we're going to do three little twists here so as you inhale unravel take that elbow out and into the air and then as you exhale slowly come back down as you inhale lift up again and then exhale slowly back down once more breathe in lift up and open breathe out come down so for your flow today you can choose as always no flow you can step back into downward dog from here and rest on your knees or you can slide forward as you breathe in coming to a long plank position and then as you exhale knees or straight legs down to the ground so first round, we're going to take three little cobras. Take the fingertips just forward off the edges of the mat. Let the forehead come up last. Roll your shoulders to lift your chest up. See if you can press your legs down here so you're long in the lower back. Come back down slow and gently. Inhale again, roll up. Roll the shoulders back and up. And then slowly back. We'll do that one more time. So rolling up, roll back down and you can push up and back here into child's pose. Take it easy or lean into the hands, lift the hips, come to downward facing dog. So whenever you're ready in downward dog, let the right leg float into the air as you breathe in. And lower it back down as you breathe out. Let the left leg lift up as you breathe in. Lower down as you breathe out. So this time when you lift the right leg up, lift the left heel too. And then exhale, bend the knee and step the foot towards the hands. Bring the left foot to meet the right, come to a halfway lift. And exhale and forward. Bend the knees, tip the arms out to the side all the way up. And then bring your hands down through the middle. So let's do that on the other side. Take the arms out to the side. And then as you exhale, give yourself a hug. So warm, gentle, or squeezy if you need it. Inhale, open it out. And exhale, wrap the other arm over. Once more, breathe in, open up. And then breathe out, give yourself that hug. And once again, as you inhale, this time lift straight up, lift the heels if you like. Circle the hands back behind you, take your time. So this time interlace your hands, drop the chin down, root the heels and then ripple the spine up slowly and gently. Build by pressing your heels down, engaging the thighs, lift the lower belly, squeeze the shoulder blades together and then breathe here. Inhale lifts you, exhale opens the chest. And inhale up to the centre and then exhale down. You can keep this bind if you like, arms come over the head or just let the hands rest down. Inhale, walk up halfway left. Exhale, right foot back. So again, you can come straight down onto the knee if you want to, or just lean forwards and backwards a couple of times. And then coming down, and we'll do that same movement with the arms. So breathe in, take the arms out to the side, or up, doesn't really matter. And then as you exhale, maybe the hips come forward, as you wrap that left arm under, just be mindful of your lower back. And then breathe in again, hips draw back, arms lift up. Exhale, other arm comes around. Once more, breathing in. So hugging yourself like you really mean it. Exhaling. And then slowly lift up. So coming into our twist, you can make it more solar and powerful. As your hands come to the inside of the foot, lifting that back leg up, or you can stay down for a bit more of a kind of lunar gentle flow. Right hand comes out, left hand comes to the heart. And then as you inhale, the elbow leads, the body gradually twists and lift up. Exhale, curl back down again. Twice more with your own breath, inhaling up. And then inhaling up and then exhaling back down. 
lovely everyone. So your flow, you can step back and be on the knees here, come through Anahata, reaching the arms forward, or you might choose that strong plank position, coming down through Chaturanga, lowering to the ground, coming into Cobra maybe when you're ready, coming into Sphinx pose for a more of a gentle flow, and then making your way slowly back, maybe to downward facing dog, maybe through child's pose. And then from there, let the right leg again lift up behind you. And exhale, lower back down. Sorry, from downward to your child's pose. Left leg lifts up, lift the heel. Step the left foot through as you breathe out. Set both feet together at the top of the mat. Take a big breath in, half lift. And exhale and fold. Soften the knees, take the arms out to the side, rise and lift. Exhale, hands come down to the heart. So give yourself a moment here to breathe. We're going to come through similar flow, take out the twist. And we're going to focus a little bit more on, on this movement and also holding the elbows and lifting the arms up. So really kind of starting to stretch the armpit, shoulder and rib area. So now bring your feet a little bit apart, feet parallel. Sink the hips down, draw your bottom back and just let your arms swing for a moment. So you want your knees over your ankles, hips back, zipping up the lower belly, let the arms swing. And then take the arms forward and sit the hips down. And then slowly from here, wrap the arms again, so one arm over the other. And then inhale, come back out. And then change sides, bring the other arm under. And then inhale out. So this time bring the arms together and then take the hands down to the elbows. Start to straighten your legs and lift your upper arms up. And they might just come to here or you might lift the arms all the way up and back. And as you exhale, fold down to the ground. Let the hands touch the earth. Let the head tip down. Doesn't matter if your legs don't straighten. Halfway lift. And then choose a stroll back to downward dog, meeting is there. Or you can come through vinyasa if you feel like it, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. And then when you're ready, we'll come through that flow a little bit quicker. So the right leg lifts up behind you, lift the left heel. As you exhale, take the right foot forward towards the hands. As you inhale, take your arms out to the side. And then as you exhale, wrap one arm over the other. <laughs> inhale, take the arms out again. And then exhale, wrap the other arm under. So last time, breathe in, take the arms out. Breathe out, give yourself a hug. And then bring your hands down to your elbows, lift your arms up. Straighten your legs, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, bend the knees, take the hands to the ground. Step back as you inhale, plank position. And then exhale, lower knees or straight legs. Inhale, roll over your toes, come through your flow. Exhale, gently back, downward facing dog. So do the same thing on the left side. Feel free to slow it down if you need to. Lift the left leg up as you breathe in. And step it through as you breathe out. Inhale, bring the arms up. As you exhale, wrap one arm underneath the other. You might wobble. <laughs> Inhale, lift the arms out again, lift the chest. Exhale, wrap the other arm over. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, hug the shoulders, move the hands down to the elbows. And then lift your arms up, maybe straighten your legs. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. So step back, take a big breath in, and then lower to the ground as you exhale. And breathe in and lift your heart, and breathe out and roll back. So again, child's pose or downward facing dog. So we're going to take out the repetitions now, just come through one last little fast bit, and then the rest of the class we can kind of slow it down a little bit if we want to. So leading once again with the right leg, inhale, lift the right leg up. As you exhale, take it through. Inhale, lift the arms. 
Exhale, wrap one arm under the other. So this time, take the hands down to the elbows and lift your arms up. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. So it's a slow flow. Step back as you breathe in. Lower to the ground as you breathe out. Inhale, roll over the toes. Exhale, roll back. Left leg, inhale, lift and up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, arms come out. Exhale, wrap the other arm under. If you do the other the same side, it doesn't really matter. So hold the elbows, lift your forearms up, relax your shoulders here so you just get lots of space around the armpit, around the ribs. And then let your hands come down to the ground. You might choose no flow here, or you might choose to step back and then come through your flow, lowering to the ground. Breathing into roll into a back bend. And breathing out, rolling back. Maybe resting in child's pose, maybe coming to downward dog. So we're gonna slowly take a step walk, or if you're feeling energetic, a jump towards the top of your mat. Halfway lift when you get there. Exhale and fold. Let's come up through Utkatasana. So bend your knees, lift your arms forwards and up. And then straighten your legs, take the hands down to the heart. Give yourself a moment here to breathe through your heartbeat lifting. Come to lie down on the ground. So inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, take the hands down. Inhale, lazy halfway lift. Exhale, bring one foot behind the other. Come to lie down on the ground. So be really aware, if you can hear just your heart beating. And then notice that you can slow your heartbeat down by breathing out a little bit slower. And we're going to come into a little core strengthener. So as you're ready, you're going to cross the right leg over the left. And this is quite a kind of strong practice. We're trying to use the lower belly muscles here. Um, so just be mindful if you feel a little bit nauseous here, um, you can just stop, yeah, because it is quite a lot of compression on the belly. So the right leg is over, lift your foot up, see if you can wrap that right foot under, around the left ankle. And if you can't do that, don't worry about it, if, especially if it hurts your knee, just have the thighs pressed together. And then right leg is over, which means the right arm comes under. And again, you might just hold your shoulders like we have been doing, if you need a hug or you might eagle bind the arms, and that's where the thumbs face your face and you're wrapping the wrists as well. If it feels super awkward and you can't breathe, just hug your shoulders. So tap the fingertips and the toes to the ground, and then as you exhale, lift the lower belly and see if you can get the elbows towards the knees. And then lie back down again and relax. Exhale, lift up again, give it a go. Inhale, relax. Exhale, come up again. Inhale, down. So if that was enough, just rest. If you want to do two more, go for it. <laughs> and when you've had enough, unravel. Make a starfish shape. Take a really big breath in, fingers and toes. Breathe out with a sigh. <sighs> Feet to the ground, left leg over the right. So you can lift up and hook that foot round if you want to. And you can take the arms over, so this time left arm under. And even if you just lay here giving yourself a hug, binding, it'd still be really good for your circulation. So it's only really if you want to challenge yourself, do a little core activation, then you can relax, breathe in. And as you breathe out, lift up, elbows come towards the knees. Inhale, relax back down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, relax down. Exhale. Inhale, relax. Exhale. So maybe that's enough for you. Maybe you do one or two more. 
and slowing it down, perhaps to make it even more fun. <laughs> and then unravel, get the arms and legs out, full body stretch, breathe in all the way to the fingers, the toes, and breathe out. <sighs> And then slowly bring your feet back to the edges of the mat and just do some really gentle windscreen wiper movements through your legs. So sometimes just that little tune up, that little flow is a complete practice. And you can kind of just relax now into Shavasana and rest. Or you can Join me for the rest of the class. So we're going to energetically roll here, hook the toes, the ankles, relax the hip flexors, but start to engage your belly to roll you forwards and backwards. Careful not to roll onto your neck. So roll all the way up, tuck the feet in, roll over, take care of your knees, and then energize with a vinyasa back from plank position, lowering down. You can come down halfway or all the way, and then roll over your toes and lift the chest and roll up and back. And we're going to make your way, again you can walk, step or jump, come to the top of your mat, come to that lazy halfway lift, and then breathe out and fold. Soften the knees, inhale, rise and lift, and exhale, take the hands down. So we're going to come through eagle posture, and this is what, exactly what we just did on the floor, but standing. And it is balanced, so the point is to wobble around. So we're going to stand on your right foot first of all, have a little look at that right foot, tell yourself if you're really good at balancing, you love it and it's an excellent foot, and then sink into that foot, maybe take your arms out to the side like on a tightrope, <laughs> wrap the left leg over the right. So if you have this left big toe on the ground and this is where you're at today, thighs pressing together, that's absolutely fine. If you can bind the foot around the ankle, you can hold it there. And then again, the left leg is over, so the left arm comes under, and that little hug again, which might be enough. Or you might find lifting the elbows and drawing the upper body back. So this is so good for all that space across the back of the body, the base of the lungs. Stretch the muscle here, get the blood flow, feel the ribs moving. And exhale, send the weight down into your heel. And then unravel as you inhale, come to warrior three. Extend the arms back, breathe deep. Take a breath here. Again, you might flap your wings, you might wobble around a bit. And then slowly come back up again. So you lift the knee up, let's take the arms up. And then come out through a kind of half moon type thing, you will wobble around. Extend that foot back. And then bring the foot to the ground. <laughs> yeah, good. And then just lift the weight off that right foot for a moment. <laughs> so come back down, have the foot and the thigh bone in the same angle. And then just check your left toes turning in slightly so you can lift your big toes, arches of the feet, hold the thighs. And then the sinking down is kind of natural, feels easy, gentle. And sweep your arms out, look towards your right fingertips and breathe there. <sighs> So inhale to expand across the chest. And then as you exhale, just wrap your right arm under your left. And then come down onto the elbows and lift the elbows out in front of you. So we're just going to circle here. So your elbows might be in front of your face, that's fine. Or you might be lifting them up a little bit, it really doesn't matter. And then all you're going to do here is just make some circles around. So it's almost like if you relax, the muscles of your shoulders and your back, you can kind of move with your arm bone, your shoulder blades, and explore this movement. There's no right and wrong here. We're just getting loads of space around the shoulders. All that connected tissue around the muscles is also going into your organs, giving space for the lung tissue to move. So slowly come back up, straighten that right leg, Get the hands to the hips, turn the right toes in. And we're going to give ourselves a moment here. Feet can come a little bit closer together. And then you can either keep your legs straight 
or you can turn your toes out and bend your knees. So we're going to come into a little bit of free-form movement today where you can keep it quite steady. Hands can come onto the knees and you can just sway from side to side. Sometimes we do this twist where we lock the arms out. That can feel really nice as well for the lower back. We can be a little bit more energetic if we want to by sinking the hips down and then making that ball of energy with our hands. So you rub your hands together so they're really hot and then take the hands apart so you've got that sensation and then sink down and sweep that ball of energy from side to side. And this can be as gentle or as dynamic as you like. Come over to one side, come over to the other side and then up into the air and round. <laughs> and we'll do that again. So over to one side, and over to the other side, and then over and up and around. So do that one more time. And if you have any kind of free form movement here that feels good, bending one knee, straightening the other leg, coming all the way around, one more big circle with the arms, and then come back to centre. Turn the feet now parallel, hands to the hips, take a big breath in. As you exhale, slowly start to fold forward. You can bend your knees here, hands can come down the back of the legs, and then either hold your ankles or take your arms forward and choose that movement again. So choose to stay still or choose to move, bending one knee and then the other. And that was my hip made that weird noise. <laughs> so walking the hands eventually round towards that right foot. And you're choosing here if you want to bring the back knee down or if you want to keep it lifted. So one's just a bit more fiery than the other. And then breathe in and lift your arms up. And take your hands down to the heart. So we're going to come into a twist here. We're going to turn the body round to the right and open your arms out. And as you exhale, take your hands back together, come back to that centre line. Twice more, inhale, turn, and then exhale, come back in. Once more, inhale, turn, open, and then exhale, come back. Now you can stay in the centre, you can bring your elbow across, and then let the body rotate, lifting the back knee if you like. So wherever you're going, just check that the breath again is still powerful and strong. Unravel on an inhale and then start to bring that back knee down if you didn't already. Start to shift the weight back. Begin to straighten that right leg. It might not straighten, it doesn't matter. You can wiggle the heel forward as well if you like. Breathe in, maybe be on your fingertips here and as you breathe out, let something go. And then coming into your choice here. So bring the hands now inside that right foot, bending the right knee again. And you can choose to bring that right foot to the back of the mat, keeping the left knee down. And then coming into Vashastasan from here, so on your knees. Some of you might choose to lift both legs. And some of you, if you're really powerful, you might bring the ball of the foot behind and make some kind of stretch of the side of the body. So whatever you choose, just hold it for a breath. And then very slowly take the arm over your head and down to the ground. And we're going to come all the way down onto the belly here. You can come through a vinyasa if you like, or just come down and rest. So if you're resting, you can stay resting, it's absolutely fine. Or we can step, walk, or jump your feet to the top of the mat, come to a halfway lift, breathe out and fold, and then inhale all the way up, exhale down. So I'm changing and so I can stay facing you. I'm going to come into that little sequence on the other side. So your left foot now, you're looking down. Never underestimate the power of your mind when you tell yourself you're good at balancing and you focus just on this thing. That's why I love balancing, because you're not 
can't really think about loads of other things. <laughs> and then bring the right foot around. So bend both knees, it's a little bit easier to get that foot to wrap. If it hurts your knee, just have the big toe on the ground. So Garudasana is like a, it's like a mudra, as you bring your right arm under. So it doesn't matter if you take the kind of full expression, you're still combining your body and squeezing together. And this little bit of temporary pressure as you draw your upper body back, crown of the head lifting, weight down through the heel. Here you're starting to stretch the back of the body, but you're also cutting off that blood flow. So next time that you release and unravel, come to warrior three. You might feel that tingling sensation in your toes, in your fingertips. So reach the foot back. Wobbling is essential. And then coming up again slowly. Take the knee forward, lift your arms. And then open out. So we're coming to warrior two, kind of passing through that half moon shape. So we're letting the foot extend back. And then bring the foot to the ground. And if you didn't wobble, you're not doing it right. <laughs> so hands to the hips. And then coming back to that warrior position. So the weight goes down through the foot, down through the heel to the toes. The knee is happy, the back toes turn in slightly. And if your body's on a diagonal, it means that your hips can kind of still move a little bit. So that's fine, especially my goddesses. Extend the arms, take a moment of stillness here. Just the breath. And then we'll do the arms. So inhale, slowly lift the arms up. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring that left arm under. So you can give yourself that squeeze again if you like. And then take your hands down to your elbows. And then lift your elbows up. So you can straighten out that left leg or you can sink back down. Just make sure your lower body's like really happy so that when you start to circle this upper body, there's no tension in the neck. And you're getting your ribs to stretch as much as possible. Maybe change direction. You might find a particular spot that really appreciates the movement. And then slowly unravel. So come back up to the centre, turn the toes in, bring the hands down to the hips. So again, feet can come in a little bit this time. And we're just going to do that little foot movement. So when you turn your toes out, see, first of all, keep your body weight in the centre and lift your heels. And then lower your heels down and see if you can lift your toes. It's a bit more difficult. <laughs> yeah, I can't really do that without falling over. So we're going to do um, side to side. So when you shift to one side, it's like that. And then we shift to the other side, it's like that. Yeah? We've done, taught this been teaching this for a while now so I'm sure lots of you have got it. So at the same time, just to make it even more fun, you're going to see if you can keep your upper body kind of straight. So you draw the upper body back, tailbone down, so you really have to use the front tummy muscles here to kind of hold yourself there. Check the knees are happy and then bring your fingertips and start to tap your fingertips. And I like to do this with the eyes closed as well. So you shift the weight to one side and come onto the ball on the heel. <laughs> shift the weight to the other side, come onto the ball on the heel. And maybe see if you can slow the tapping right down as you move from side to side. And you might find that your, your hips, your upper body starts to move. I start to move forward on my mat as well, <laughs> coming gradually closer and closer. And then come back to the center, just rest your feet down, bring your palms flat. And then interlace your fingers, turn your feet in so they're parallel. Bring your hands forward and up, nice and slow. We do a big circle when we get there, so circle your arms around. And then release your hands down, take a slow breath here. 
And you're going to come into second forward fold. So we've done quite a lot of the shoulders. Check in if they feel a bit tender. If it's okay to interlace your hands behind your back, drop your chin down. You can do that. Bend your knees. Lift up through the lower belly so you can articulate your hips back as your chest comes forward. And come down slowly. Maybe let your arms lift up and over, or if you like, you can have your hands resting on the ground. And breathe here. You might choose to stay still. You might choose to come back into that movement from side to side. Well, one thing I really like doing here is take, just taking the hands forward and then bending the knees and just moving the weight from side to side. So you just traction those shoulders, but no muscles in the back are working. And then walk the hands around towards that left foot. So the right heel lifts. Bring the right knee down. And then inhale, pick them up. So coming into that twist. So you can keep the static twist if you feel tired, or we're going to flow into the twist. And again, this is to get these kind of all these muscles and fascia around the side of the body moving. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if it's a deep twist or not. Hands to the center, press into the center, breathe in and breathe out. And then turn around to the side as you open your hands, round to the left. And then as you exhale, come back. To the center. It doesn't matter how far you move. Inhale, open up to the side and exhale back to the center. Do that one more time. Inhale, open up, exhale down. So again, you might stay just in a really subtle twist. Or you might take your elbow down, palms come together, and you rotate. And those of you a bit more fiery with that back knee lifted. A little spiraling sensation from your heel up your leg as that right hip rolls in, left hip draws back, crown of the head extends forward as the body turns. And breathing here. And then unravel on an inhale. Start to lift that left hip up and back. So if you have hand man in your practice, you can wiggle the foot a little bit further forward. We'll just draw the hip back, maybe be on the fingertips here. And then soften down, let something go. Hmm. As you're ready, coming forward again. So hands inside this foot. And then you can choose here, again the Vashasasana option, right hand just in front of your shoulder, left foot back of the mat. And this might be the last or the only really dynamic thing we do today so you can extend both legs if you want to and whatever you did on the other side maybe give it a go see if it feels different and if you're down on your elbows or resting on your belly that's absolutely fine take slow deep breaths here and unravel hands to the ground so come through last Little flow if you like. If you're resting, stay resting. Breathing in, breathing out. And if you're in child's pose or downward dog, you give yourself a full breath in and out there. And then coming forward to rest on your tummy. So your back bend. Practice, knees out to the side, elbows just forward of the shoulders. You might take your feet from side to side, that can feel quite nice. You might choose to come into a more dynamic back bend. So if you can reach your feet or your ankles, hold there. And if you can't, but you want to bind, you can have your hands interlace. Or you can just have your hands back as if you're going to hold your feet, but you don't. And this is really good for the muscles at the back of your body, really strengthening. If you've got your feet, just rest your head for a moment. Let the body down to the ground. And then inhale, let things stay soft. And as you exhale, lift up through your pelvic floor. Start to kick your legs back, but keep your thighs on the ground. So you're really using those core stabilizer muscles to 
Expand the chest. So opening through the front of the body now, the heart muscle stretches, breathing, lifting all the way up. Maybe for the last breath or two, just lift yourself as high as you can without struggle, without strain. Maybe look up, look for your feet over your head. They're definitely there. And then come down and let go. Be mindful how you come out. Let your whole body rest down. And then counter pose either with child's pose or one knee and elbow out to the side. Breathe slowly and deeply. And coming up and taking your time. And coming back. Either into a wide child's pose, if that works for you, you can reach your arms forward, rest there. Or if being on your knees doesn't really work, you can come up to sit. So we're going to sit with one leg out in front. So bringing your feet out in front of you. I'm sitting just on the edge of a block. You can use a cushion or a blanket if you want to. And then bring your left leg in. So have the foot just underneath the knee. We're going to come into a twist here. So take the arm all the way out on a diagonal and round. See if you can wrap either the wrist, the hand, or maybe the elbow around the knee. Flex your other foot and lift your arm up. Excuse me, so come to a twist, drop your hand down and press kind of very gently just through both heels so you lift the crown of the head up and then rotate. And when you've gone as far as you're going to go, just relax there, relax your back muscles. Come around and unravel on an inhale and then take your hands down towards your foot. So we're going to come into another variation of this twist. This time the right hand comes to the outside of the left foot. So if you can keep your back straight as you lift your foot up and then take left arm into the air, left foot forward. And if this leg doesn't straighten, it doesn't matter. And then slowly start to rotate. If you feel wobbly, bring the hands back behind you. If you feel okay, extend that arm back behind you as you extend your foot forward. And then just keep breathing here. Unravel back to centre. So bring the right leg out, bring the left heel in towards the thigh. Bend the knee as much as you need to, lift your arms up. You can counter twist if you like, coming round to the side, or you can catch hold of the foot and just let go of any idea of what you're supposed to be doing. So the moment we let our neck muscles relax, that's the moment we Really tap into that resting part of our nervous system, which should be our default setting, but so often when we're stressed, it isn't. We spend our time ready, kind of waiting in that kind of slightly more agitated state. We signal to the body that we would really like to rest now by letting the eyes close and the neck relax. Come up slowly, take your time. And come to the other side. So bring both feet out in front of you. You can take Parvottanasana here if you like. You can sit still or you can reach your hands back, point your toes. And this time, draw the shoulder blades back. So squeeze the shoulder blades together, point your toes. And if you feel quite powerful today, you might lift your hips up, you might not. You can maybe hold it here for a breath, get the big toes on the ground if you can. And then slowly come back down. So now the right leg comes in for our twist. Heel is underneath the knee, other leg out, wrap the arm around and then sit up tall, so lift your arm, and the hand comes back behind you. You kind of maybe use the knee as a little bit of leverage, and then when you're there, just kind of let the back muscles relax. Unravel. So 
So coming into the second part of the twist, bringing the hand to the outside of the foot. So lift up, again, it doesn't matter if this leg won't straighten, keep the spine nice and tall if you can, lift up and then open out to the side. And you might bring the right hand back behind you or you might be extending it back behind you, breathing deep. Exhale, softening across the shoulders. And then slowly coming back up, bringing the heel in towards the groin. So coming towards your left leg now with the knee, maybe a little bit bent. Inhale, lift the arms up and then exhale, come forward. And you can hold the foot if you want to. You can walk the hands forward, you can breathe your way to a nice deep stretch or you can just relax. And coming up when you're ready. And we're going to come to our last little posture. So this is a forward bend and you can do this with your um, sitting on a little cushion if you like. We're going to come from here to Shavasana so you might want to have your cushion ready. So just hit the soles of the feet together and I quite like to roll the edge of my mat up here or just sit on a little cushion or blanket or a block if you have one. Have that diamond shape between your legs. Bring your hands to your thigh muscles and just, just make sure that you're relaxing there around the the thigh and the hip flexor and then your pelvis tilts forward and you can bring your hands down to rest either on your feet or around your shins. And you're going to see if you can just breathe out here and let the whole body relax. So your tummy softens, your neck and your jaw relax, your whole body giving the weight down. And if you want to, you can stay here, so it's like a real yin practice. Or you could do the last five breaths, hello Flo, with the soles of the feet a little bit closer together, so it's a little bit more active stretch if you like. If you're kind of enjoying where you are, you don't have to move. So you're coming forward again, maybe not very far, maybe actively, maybe really passive. And slowly coming up. So you're bringing your feet back together, taking the legs out in front of you and any last little movements that you like to do, I'm going to talk you through guided shavasana. So whenever you're ready, come to the most comfortable position that you can. So for most of us, that's lying on the back. You might have your feet on the ground. You might have your legs stretched out. Once again, just as you did at the beginning of the class, come to that place where you let the flat surface off the ground, whether that's the floor, whether you're out in your garden, wherever you are, you just let your body rest there on that surface, relaxing down. And let the muscles of your face relax. Your eyelids, your cheeks, your jaw. And start to relax the throat. And as you exhale, your chest and your shoulders just sink down. And being aware of the subtle rise and fall of your belly and as you exhale let the hips pelvis release to the ground and then 
once you're aware of the stillness, being aware of the softness now, the thigh muscles, your knees and your ankles relax. Relax the feet and the toes. And then in your inhale, just wash over you, maybe being aware of some light behind your eyelids, you might wiggle your toes, move your fingers, and you might decide to roll over onto your side for a few moments and have a little rest there. Or you can come up to close the practice, just finding a comfortable seat. There's no rush, take your time. Bring your hands together. Moving the thumbs towards the centre of the chest. So whenever we make a conscious choice to tune into our body and to move with awareness we move all the parts of the body encouraging that flow of prana and prana is not just breath but it's all the wondrous things that breathing well bring us the oxygenation of all of our cells that feeling of being alive. So just giving yourself a moment to give thanks for taking this time. Thanks for the energy and the prana that you've created. Maybe extending that gratitude to the third eye, to the heart, past the belly to the ground, giving thanks for another Beautiful day. Namaste, yogis. Thank you. I'm going to come and unmute you all if you're running away. I've actually finished.